Hello everyone, it's Bernadette Simply Be Art in Cape Town. Thank you for joining me and for clicking on this video today. In today's video, I bring you my complete process from start to finish on how I completed this beautiful bloom blowout on a stone grey background. So please continue to watch my process and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So to my White House paint I've added this black color tint and I've gotten a stone gray color and I'm happy with that. I'm using a canvas that I've scraped, um, poured didn't work out, I allowed it to dry and now I'm going to layer the base color or the pillow onto this canvas. I'm going to um, share the colors in the blooms uh, as I go along. So if you follow along, I'll also list them on the screen so you can see them. I'll also put them in the description box for you. So just filling up my canvas with color and I don't uh, fill it up uh, right to the edges because the spinning is going to help me to stretch this color over the edges. But I've mixed up enough so if I need to touch up some of the parts then then that will help me. Let me just spread out the color a little bit further and um, and then I'm going to torch it as usual. I'm going to torch it now making sure that you are straight in frame. That's great. Okay, torching the air bubbles. I've just mixed up that color now. So just getting rid of some of these air bubbles. This minimizes the, the little white spots that you may find once you've blown out your bloom. Sometimes then these air bubbles, they pop later on and, uh, and then they create those little white spots. But you can minimize it by torching your base color before you start laying down your puddles. So... I'm still going to be doing a background. You know I love, this is just a blob I want to pick up. You know I enjoy doing the, the backgrounds to my blooms. And so today I'm going to be doing the same. The colors for my background will be a silver, metallic silver, a pearl white and some gold. So I'm going to start with a silver going to lay down some puddles um, and then we're going to spin and stretch just four puddles for now this is an Amsterdam gold mixed with a bloom pouring medium just for some color in the background a little bit more cold on that one and then a pearl white. You know, I love using the pearl white because it gives such beautiful effects with the black cell activator. It really does some beautiful things. So I love using the pearl white. Okay, and then I'm going to do a black cell activator on this one as well. These puddles, and you know the background. I think I'll add a little bit of the white cell activator too. Just a small, tiny, one single drop of white. I want the black really to show up. So you know my backgrounds are random puddles. I use an 1800 watt blow dryer. It's got a louver front to direct the airflow. I use it on a low speed or low fan first and then I change to a high fan. And I change merely to spread the puddles. I 
right, let's blow this. Just spreading that color over the... Oh, it's beautiful already. Just one thing is in my background. Okay, I'm going to spin this and then we'll see what we get. But I'm loving what I'm seeing. Now I'm spinning and the spinning is going to allow that base or that pillow to fold over the edges, leaving the background showing on the canvas, on the face of the canvas. Okay. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful oh, that is a painting in itself oh my goodness i'm just going to uh, let's let's spin it a little bit more oh my goodness now i'm conflicted you see i don't know whether i must do a bloom on this now i it is gorgeous just gorgeous Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. That is just beautiful. That is just stunning, stunning, stunning. I tell you what, I'm, I'm going to do a small bloom. I'm going to do a tiny bloom. Um, just look at that. Oh my goodness, I don't know what to do. I'm going to do a tiny bloom. Right, I will do a tiny bloom. Um, that I'm going to blow out with my with my hand blower, not the not the blow dryer. So I'm going to do a bloom in white um, right here. This is white um, bloom paint. Then I've got a cloud gray. I just get a spoon. I've got a cloud gray. Then I'm going to add... The same gold, this is the Amsterdam gold, the same gold, I'm going to add the gold. And then I'm going to do the pearl white. Yes. Then I'm going to do a black cell activator. And I'm going to do a little bit, tiny dot of the white. There we go, that's it. And... Yes, I'm going to use my handheld blower. Um, I feel that I'm going to be able to spread that bloom and better than if I were to use the blow dryer. Let's do this. Oh my goodness <laughs> that's just beautiful so now I've got one bloom I'm going to do an <laughs> another bloom I'm going to do another bloom I wonder oh my goodness I'm so conflicted. I'm going to do three blooms. Yes. Let me do three blooms. I'm going to do three blooms. I'm going to do a bloom here. 
one there. And I'm going to do a tiny bloom here. Yes, like that. I'm loving this very subtle palette. Um, cloud Grey. This is the Amsterdam Gold. A pearl White. little bit more and then that cell activator and a dot of the white cell activator I could do the blooms without the white cell activator it will still be okay Let's just do the petals. I'm going to pull those petals in. Just define the petals a little bit. And then I'm going to do some edging. Love that. So I'm using a skewer stick and I'm just defining each petal. I'm going to pick up some of the white paint on my skewer and I'm going to outline the petals with some of that white. So when it dries, it does stand out. Yes. So as I do this, please, please remember to subscribe to my channel. Join my pouring family if you're here watching again and you've already subscribed. I really appreciate your support of my channel. Thank you very much for being here. I hope you enjoy my offering, my videos. It's so much fun sharing my steps and my process with you and bringing you some beautiful art and I hope that you can try this at home and that you achieve success and that you celebrate every painting as a new creation. So much fun. So I'm just following the the natural edge, dipping my skewer stick into white paint that I've used and pulling it along the edge of the of the petals. It defines the petals so as it dries, it's not going to disappear into the background. Oh my gosh, I am just loving this painting. Loving it. Woohoo! <laughs> It is so beautiful. I get excited in my classes too. When I do bloom classes, people just, they just create the most fantastic blooms in the class. And some of them are just there for the first time. And it's fantastic to see the success. In those bloom pores, it's really, 
makes my heart sing. <laughs> it's all worth a while. Okay. Oh my goodness. This is just so beautiful. I can't wait to upload this <laughs> video. Right. Oh my goodness. This is just fabulous. Look at that. Just look at that. Just give that a little more. Oh, my so goodness. this look is your that. close up. Oh my goodness. It's still on the spinner. I haven't taken it off yet. But look. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. That is just beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me if you've enjoyed the process, if you love the stone gray background and that black, gold and pearl white background to the blooms on top. This is just a beautiful piece subtle and gorgeous. There's a shadow, I do apologize. I'm going to try and give you some snapshots in better lighting, so I'm going to have to move the painting off the spinner and place it in its drying space and once it's there I can give you a better shot without the glare. So thank you for being here with me and for watching. I shall see you on the next video. Bye.